I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to show you how to resolve merge conflicts in Git. In order to resolve a merge conflict, you first have to create a merge conflict. Right now I'm on the master branch, and I have this file named alpha.html. That's this file right here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to edit this file both in the hotfix branch and at the same time in the master branch. That will create a conflict that we will need to resolve. Now let's take a look at my environment right here. I'm going to open up the git bash shell and take a look at the different branches that I've got. So git branch dash a tells me I've got a master and a hotfix branch. Right now the alpha file on the master branch doesn't have anything in it. It's empty. And also if I go to the hotfix branch, you can see that if I open up this file again, again it's blank. So as you can see right now both the hotfix branch and the master branch are completely in sync. However, in this hotfix branch, I'm going to make a change to the alpha file and then do a commit. So, hello world from the hotfix branch. So I've made a change to this file. Now I'll do a git add to the ceremonial git commit. And now my alpha branch is a little bit out of sync with the master branch. However, I haven't made any changes on the master branch. So if I want to do a merge right now from the hotfix into master, it would go without a problem because I haven't also edited the alpha.html file on the master branch. But let's create the conflict. So I'm going to switch to the master branch. So as you can see, I was in the hotfix branch. I made a change and a commit. Now I'm on the master branch. And if I take a look at this file on the master branch, look at this there is nothing in it, right? The changes were only made on that hotfix branch. The file in the master branch is unedited. So I'll go in here and I'll say goodbye world from the master branch, click save, come over here and then do the ceremonial git add, git commit dash m, And now we are in this unenviable situation where I have a commit on the hotfix branch and a commit on the master branch. And these two commits both edit the same alpha.html file. You can see there's a delta sign there and a delta sign there. Both of these files have been changed on different branches. Now we're going to try and merge these together. But when we do this merge, we're going to get a merge conflict. Git is going to throw its hands in the air and say, look, I have no idea how to merge all of these changes together. You've got to do it. You've got to update the file. You've got to do a commit. And only then will I consider the merge conflict to be resolved. So let's do that. To merge from the alpha branch, merge from the hotfix branch onto the master branch, you have to be on the master branch, which I'm in. And I'll say git merge, and specifically git merge that hotfix branch in. And you can see right away, there's a merge conflict. And specifically, there's a merge conflict in alpha. And so now I have to resolve this merge conflict. Now, how do I do it? Well, let's open up this file. And this is the type of entry that Git will put into a file that has a merge conflict. It shows you what's in head, kind of where I am right now. It shows you the content from the file that you're merging in, a little divisor between the two. And it just says, look, I can't do anything with this. I have no idea how to merge this. Really, two developers should not have been working on the same file at the same time. There is no algorithm to figure out how to fix this. You gotta do it yourself. And that's basically what you have to do. And this is a world of hurt. Um, if you're working in Java, you have to not only make sure that the code compiles when you've resolved the conflict, but you also have to make sure that the code passes the unit tests and does what the code was intended to do. Um, so. It's not an easy thing to do. How do we fix this? I don't know. Hello, goodbye world from the merge on master from hotfix. I mean, it's just a, it's just a mess. <laughs> but that's all you can do. That's how you have to resolve your merge conflicts. You go in there and you resolve it. You take the, the changes from both files, bring them together. Hopefully it compiles. Hopefully it passes the test. Now, right now, if I do a git status, you'll see that I'm still in this merging state, it indicates that I'm not fully merged. Uh, what I have to do now is I have to make sure that file was saved, add it to the index, say that the file was merged, 
And now I leave that merging state and master is now in a merge state from the changes that were brought in from that hotfix branch. If I do a git ref log, you'll notice that the master branch has a new commit with this file merged. Uh, you'll also notice that that hotfix branch is still at the old commit. So if I go to the hotfix branch, the HTML file in the hotfix branch will not have been merged. It'll still be in the state it was in before the merge. Um, and you can actually see that graphically. So I always like to do the git log one line all command and asking for it to graph it. And then you can see right here, there's the original commit. There was the next commit on the master branch. Here was a commit on the hotfix branch. The hotfix branch remains in that state, whereas the master branch is now in a merge state taking in the changes from the hotfix. And there you go. That's how easy it is to resolve merge conflicts in Git. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps tools, and enterprise software development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please, why don't you take some time to subscribe on the YouTube?